Hey guys, Dennisy here, and uh, welcome to uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, I do not have all of the DLCs. I have the Scandinavian one, I think, and I'm a poor driver. <laughs> um, but uh, the reason I'm making this video uh, is because this is not going to be a series. Just FYI, I'm not going to have a Euro Truck Simulator series, but it's it's just a little bit of an uh, update uh, for the channel. Uh, and this is just to have something going on in the background. Uh, you don't really need to watch the video uh, if you just want a uh, if you just want to listen. That's okay. Uh, it can be kind of a podcasty kind of dealio. Uh, let's see, I'm, I'm just gonna turn over here. Um, so I went away for a couple of weeks. Uh, I went to my mom, you probably noticed that I started to upload Dense Pack. And then I suddenly stopped. <laughs> uh, with no words on what happened. Um... Uh, Nothing bad happened. I just went down south to visit my mom, and um, yeah, she, she turned 50, and it was Mother's Day here in Norway. So I thought, why not? You know, uh, but um, yeah. So I went there for a couple of weeks. I didn't bring my uh, desktop because. It's an hour and a half flight, and I didn't really want to pack my desktop with me, so I didn't make any videos. Um, I did try to get some videos going while I were away, I were planning to. Uh, I just never got the opportunity to do so. I have a few videos of Dense Pack just laying, waiting for me to edit them. I didn't get the time to actually render them. So that was kind of sad, but, you know, that happened. So that's kind of what's happened, why I've been away. Uh, I I should have said something. I, uh, I did say something over at my Twitter, so go ahead and follow me there. If you want, uh, if something happens, I usually post it up on my Twitter. Um, like if, if I, for example, go on a trip for two weeks, I'm gonna write it there instead of just making a video saying, hey, I'm going away. Uh, so that kind of announcements are gonna happen over at uh, my Twitter. Just so you guys are aware. Uh, oh, I'm going way too fast. Uh, and on the trip back, when I went home on, on a flight, uh, it went bad. Um, not for me. Uh, except that my flight got... late. <laughs> like, it, it were able to take off, I think, about 30 to 40, 45 minutes. And the reason why is because uh, the passenger in front of me he went into diabetic shock. I think, I think that's the name for it. Um, he was a diabetic, uh, type two, and um, the uh, the reason I know this is because I overheard his wife uh, tell. Um, uh, we we had a doctor on board, <laughs> uh, and she told him. Uh, that uh, he was diabetic. Uh, there was a, another... I don't know if she was a doctor or if she was whatever she was. But, um... Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna... There we go. Put on cruise control so I don't need to keep that button in all the time. Um... Uh, there, there was this woman. Uh, like I said, I don't know if she was a doctor or a nurse or something. Uh, I think she wasn't. But she was some sort of a uh, scientist student. And she had to do the nursing part of med school before she could start her scientific uh, studies or something like that. So... 
she was closer than the doctor when this started to happen. And she asked what type of diabetic it was. And I was like, you can tell that like that? Are you some sort of genius like House or uh, the good doctor or something? Uh, that, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, he went into uh, diabetic shock. Uh, I started to get paralyzed because I... I'm not used to this kind of stuff, and I have anxiety, and it kind of made me not being able to be helpful, sadly. Um, like, you know, in in a doctor-ish way, sort of. Um, so, um, I tried to help lift him out of his seat and onto the floor so he could lie down and uh, we could try to free his uh, airways uh, I weren't able to get out of my seat I weren't able to stand up and um, it kind of went on he went it, it went worse so he went into cardiac arrest um, I don't know why he didn't have any insulin, um, uh, or uh, a, um, blood measurement thing, sugar blood measurement thing. Uh, uh, it could be that they ran out and they were like, eh, it's just an hour and a half of flight, we can make it, uh, before we have to buy some more. Or maybe, maybe they lived up here and, uh... They had more at home, because we were gonna be landing really late anyway. Uh, the pharmacy would have been closed when we uh, landed, so... I I'm, I'm assuming they had some at home, uh, but I can't know for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, so he went into cardiac arrest, and then his heart stopped. Uh, he stopped breathing. Uh, the doctor had gotten up uh, because uh, the flight attendants had uh, literally asked, is there a doctor on board, like you hear in the movies? Um, luckily there was. Uh, oh. Um, so that happened. Um, his heart stopped and he... Um, uh, didn't respond. Uh, we gave him. Uh, they had a heart fibrillar. Heart thing. A heart. Oh. Heart machine. Oh, come on. A uh, heart machine which would shock him. A uh, uh, heart defibrillator. I'm not sure how to pronounce that in English. Uh, oh, come on. Um. And the machine was actually really helpful. Uh, it um, it would give you a monocom, uh, so you could kind of uh, give him uh, heart compressions to the beat, um, and it would say um, st stop and shock him. And it was just so surrealistic, surrealistic to watch. Um, we finally did get a uh, pulse, and we did get a um, we did get bre breathing from him. He started to breathe on his own, uh, so we got a um, or not on his own. He started to breathe very heavily. Uh, so we got him a uh, oxygen mask and an uh, oxygen tank. And uh, since this were happening literally inches away from me, um, I were holding the oxygen tank so it wouldn't start rolling around because it's round. It, it's rounded. It's not round, it's rounded. It's a cylinder. Uh, so it's rounded. 
and I held it so it wouldn't start rolling away and well, well, I, I, I held it so just just to have it close um, and the, the doctor tried to open his eyes they stayed open uh, and he were his head were going to the right all the time uh, so he uh, were looking straight at me the whole time it was really freaky um, but luckily uh, we got the, uh, the plane turned around uh, we went back to gate uh, we were about to take off when this started to happen we were able to get the pilot to stop taking off um, so it luckily it went fine uh, the ambulance came um, he started to respond uh, like he started to talk respond and um, he refused to wear the mask anymore uh, just making sure that I'm not tipping over here felt like I were gonna tip um, but uh, yeah so then let's see uh, there we go oh there we did not go that that was not a good turn um, anyway uh, then we um, uh, yeah so he responded and uh, everything were looking fine uh, I literally witnessed a guy dying and coming back to life. That was so weird. Um, and I hope I'm never going to experience that again because it was terrifying. Uh, not the least for the family, of course, or the wife. Um, I've been trying to see if I can find an if I've been able to find any information about this uh, like uh, how it went in uh, newspapers uh, the local newspaper for uh, for the uh, airport um, like big uh, newspapers as well uh, they have they did write one article from the airport that I went from that day uh, and it was something trivial something really really trivial uh, and I, I I don't remember what the article was but it it was yeah um, something about uh, oh yeah it was a guy being thrown out of a plane because he smelled yeah he got kicked out out of the airplane for smelling like that is in the newspaper but not the guy who nearly died on the plane and made the plane turn around uh, he didn't make it I, I'm not mad at him of course absolutely not it's just I'm mad at the newspaper for uh preferring to write about a guy smelling over life and death is that stupid of me I don't think so there we go uh, but yeah so that happened um, I I'm gonna do that because I have two trailers uh, when I place it manually it doesn't register because it's too too long I don't know uh, so yeah that happened uh, but other than that I had a nice trip um, I I were having some good time with my mom and uh, we were just yeah having having good times um, on her birthday party I got a little bit sick I got a stomach ache uh, and really nauseous so I had to leave the party but uh, other than that I had a great time um, let's see 
Okay. We can do that one. Um, I, I'm I'm not sure how long I've been recording now. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, like I said, my mom turned fifty. Uh, let's see. I need to find a way to turn. Uh, she got uh, a gift card from uh, me and my brother and stepbrother and stepdad and sister-in-law and whatnot. Uh, we all chipped in and gave her a gift card so she could go and shop. Because uh, it was her birthday. She deserved it. Uh, and, oh, look at this. We can turn around right here. Uh, let's first check out this mission to see if I'm actually going towards uh, my destination or I'm going to where I'm supposed to deliver, but I don't have... Oh, wait, am I actually going? You know what? I'm, I'm going to keep going. Let, let's see where it takes us. Um... It might take me to the right place after all. So we got her that. Uh, she were contemplating about maybe buying a new TV, uh, but she didn't. Uh, then she um, got some flowers and a photo album. And uh, to me, it seemed like she were having a rather good time. Let's see, we're gonna break down. Not break down, but... There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. that's too much. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Let's take it easy. Like I said, I'm not a good driver. This is why I don't have a license in real life. I, I, I'm just kidding. I don't have a license because I can't afford it, basically. <laughs> it's really... Uh, Expensive for a license here. Um, I've already paid a few hundred thousand, almost, and I still don't have it. And that was just for driving lessons and like everything except for the theory and except for uh, the actual last test to see if you're able to drive. Uh, the physical test. Um, other than that, I have everything. <laughs> uh, but I um, I keep on failing the theory, uh, which is one of the reason I've, uh, reasons I've gotten myself this um, this game because it's a great way to practice. You know, I've gotten myself a wheel, uh, trying to make the experience as uh, real as possible. But anyway. Anyway, let's step away from the game again and talk about what's happened. Um, she got a photo album, uh, my mom, um, from her own parents, uh, and it was it was a photo album uh, since or from uh, she was born, basically, and all the steps from childhood to teenage years, to adulthood, to uh, parenthood. Uh, I think she actually turned in, went into parenthood before she went into adulthood, so... Sorry, Mom. Although, I'm, I'm not the one that was born first. Um, and then she, uh, she got lots of flowers. I don't remember what else she got. But the flowers were beautiful. Um, uh, some of the most beautiful bouquets I've ever seen. Uh, Note this to my aunt, uh, who used to be a uh, florist. But um, I rarely saw her bouquets, so I got that going for me. That That's my excuse for saying those are the most beautiful bouquets I've ever seen. Actually, uh, my aunt did make a bouquet, or several bouquets, for a funeral I went to 
a few years ago. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm just gonna sneak in here. Uh, so yeah, she got uh, that and then uh, it was Mother's Day. Um, I think 11th? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so we kind of celebrated that and, uh, got me, my brother, my stepdad, and all of us, again, uh, went in and, uh, uh, bought her a, uh, another gift card. Uh, this one wasn't as expensive as the other. Uh, but, um, it was another gift card for the same place, um, like a whole mall, uh, so, yeah, she got that again, <laughs> uh, and, uh, hugs for me, and hugs for my stepbrother, and, uh, I'm gonna assume it was a, uh, that my brother gave her a hug in his thoughts, um, uh, because my biological brother had to go back home, back north, uh, because uh, job, work, that kind of stuff, uh, which is understandable. Let's see, is this good enough? Oh, it's not. There we go. T. Fifth wheel locked. Okay, I think. It now is connected. Let's go. Um, so yeah, uh, that I think would be the gist of what's happened the last two weeks. The most uh, exciting thing is my mom turned 50 and a guy had a diabetic shock on the plane back home. Uh, other than that, um, not we didn't really do much. We were kind of just relaxing and taking it easy because... Uh, uh, I bruised my rib, yeah, I bruised my rib, I think, uh, oh, uh, and, uh, it was painful, very painful for a, a couple of weeks, um, uh, I can barely feel it now, uh, so I'm feeling a lot better, but, uh, with that, the next a few dense pack episodes that I'm gonna upload they are gonna have uh, me with a bruised rib still uh, so those are gonna be from the past which is why I've been recording here now because I don't want to spoil what's happened there uh, just to explain why I've been gone um, and uh, my single play world <laughs> that is uh, I'm gonna make a video about that, uh, but, uh, something terrible has happened. Um, so yeah, uh, I could have recorded on World of Odium, uh, but World of Odium, I want to be about Odium and not what happens other in my life, uh, which is, oh, it's, oh, okay, there we go. Um, so this type of video wouldn't really fit with that series, because that's gonna be more focused on what we're doing there, and not what I'm doing behind the screen, basically. Uh, so, we landed on making a whole new game, or making a video on a whole new game for this channel. I almost said for the series, but this isn't... I don't think this is gonna be a series, so let me know down in the comments what you think. Anyway, I hope that you guys have had a fantastic couple of weeks. Uh, let me know if you have uh, experienced anything like it, because it, it, it was crazy, <laughs> uh, to say the least. But, um... Oh, I should probably turn on my lights, because it's illegal in Norway to drive without, and we're currently driving in Norway. Um, but yeah, so let me know that, and uh, I will see you guys in the next 
video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And uh, most importantly, don't forget to have an awesome day. And I will see you guys in the next episode or video, depending. Okay. Bye-bye.